This week's episode of Star Wars Resistance, titled The Mutiny, was really good, despite breaking my general rule of thumb for the show that it's most enjoyable when the First Order is involved. Kragan and the pirates begin the story off-world, where they buy some old Clone Wars-era battle droids from Sadana Thano, the Crimson Corsair. This is some payoff for a short story that was written way back in 2015, where the Corsair Zone pirates tracked down a Separatist warship that was full of battle droids, and even a clone trooper that was kept in stasis for decades. So it's very likely Kix was on that ship, even if we didn't see him. But the droids were all recovered on the desert planet Ponema Terminal, and they've got the dust to match. This whole event is also mentioned in the Visual Dictionary for the Rise of Skywalker. But back to the story at hand, Kragan plans to unleash the battle droids on the Colossus so he can take over, but they're in need of some repairs. Suspecting the pirates are up to no good, Doza sends Niku to the hangar, and Kragan quickly enlists the Nikto into fixing his droids, along with a B-1 battle droid that was included in the sale. So B-1s have now appeared in every animated Star Wars series. Kaz and Sonara learn about Kragan's plot just a little too late, and they're imprisoned with Niku as the droids are sent to take over the station. But the B-1 breaks them out, and just when Kragan is about to be victorious, they're able to send a deactivation code to the super battle droids who then capture the pirates. Sonara asks Doza to let her old crew go rather than keep them locked up, draining their food and water, and he agrees, and the pirates are set loose on their own. I'm seeing a recurring theme pop up in Season 2 of Star Wars Resistance. The Colossus never turns their back on people in need. They took in Nina in the Engineer, and she wound up being a First Order spy who nearly got them killed. They risked going to help Norath, the Resistance spy, in the previous two episodes, and the mission nearly ended in disaster. At the end of Season 1, they took in the Pirates, and here we see that it's come back to bite them. But every single time, Kaz and the rest of the Colossus want to see the best in people. They don't turn their backs on anyone who needs help. It doesn't always work out, but we've seen that more times than not, it's worth the trouble and the risk. Most of the pirates may have been bad eggs, but Sonara wasn't. Over the course of both seasons, she has worked to be accepted by the rest of the Colossus, and she's been invaluable in more than one mission. The pirate crew was removed from the station, but they left behind Sonara and a whole host of super battle droids. I think it's also interesting that we're seeing these Separatist droids become allies to the Colossus when 50 or so years ago they would have been dreaded enemies. Sonara also used to be an enemy to the Colossus, but enemies become friends all the time in Star Wars. Sonara says she's glad to have found a new and better family on the station, and that's yet another running Star Wars theme. Found family and forging your own path despite where you came from or who raised you, and in her case, Kragan was her father figure. As far as the other two times the Colossus has helped people out, saving Norath worked in their favor, gaining them a new ally, and contact with the larger resistance. In Nina's case, I don't really see an upside to them risking bringing her on board right now, but I'm willing to bet that we'll see her again. She didn't look pleased with herself as she flew away from the Colossus, and the First Order has already turned their backs on her. I would love to see her return to make amends and save the day. Because I think selflessness over selfishness is a major theme of Star Wars Resistance, especially in Season 2. Sometimes there might be risks or just downsides to helping those around you, but working together, even when it's not convenient, or maybe especially when it's not convenient, always winds up being worth it. But that's what I got out of the mutiny. I guess I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I didn't point out the Battlestar Galactica parallel of this week, because there is a mutiny arc of Battlestar in Season 4 of the show, and they're some of my favorite episodes of television ever. The storyline in Resistance was a quarter of the time, and of course skewed much younger, but I still felt some of that excitement of threats coming from those who are supposed to be allies, and the themes were similar. Let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.